Hey there guys, how's it going? In this video, I just want to give you a small update on a few things and introduce to you some of the new products that I have been making for my uh, myself. I, I realize I show off a lot of other products on my channel, so uh, why not show off some of my own? Now, many of you out there may have already seen the Universal Fit button of masks that I came up with the other year. These have been doing really well. A lot of people are very, very happy with these things. And uh, it, in most cases, is likely to be the last button of mask you need to buy uh, as it is of course infinitely adjustable within its size range now this original model is of course still going to be for sale but i've came up with some alternative sizes too uh, but let's say the original one right here fits scoped up to 24.7 centimeters external that is roughly 10 inches of course um which is roughly in line with back an 8 inch Schmidt cast grain, that kind of thing, or an 8 inch Newtonian. I've currently got it set up for a uh, Maxitov 180, and you can see there's still some wiggle room on these adjusters. Now, if you want to make it fit a much smaller scope, for example, it's just a case of pinching one of these bolts. You can do this with gloves on, slide the adjuster to wherever you want it. You can see it's all adjustable, and then just pinch it back down, and now it's locked up. And you just do the same with the other three until you've got three, you know, matching locked points. And the diffraction grating lined up roughly over the center. It doesn't need to be completely perfect. You will still achieve perfect focus as long as some of the grating pattern is visible from all three segments. That's the important part. But um, yeah, people have been asking for a, for a little while now if I could make some alternative sizes. And so... This is what we've got. So if you just hold them up next to one another, you can see there is now a, a mini. Hopefully that's visible for you. <laughs> the mini in the middle, the original right there in the middle, and now the XL as well. And I'll just talk through those for you. So of course, the mini, useful if you've uh, just got mainly smaller aperture scopes or if you're going to travel. Of course, you don't want to be packing a massive thing if you uh, don't have to. Uh, and also I've incorporated onto this design a slightly finer diffraction grating too in order to end up with more diffractive surface if you like per square inch of aperture uh, giving you slightly brighter spikes uh, from those smaller apertures if you like that could be uh, very useful for people so that's that option right there and uh, of course there is the original like we've just talked about great piece of kit and then I think my maybe my new favorite at least in my observatory uh the xl and uh, i'm really happy with this thing of course it will fit scopes right the way down to about three inch i would say in terms of uh the the size of the end the dew shield that you're gonna have to put this thing on but it will go right the way up tall in this case 35 centimeters or uh, about 14 inches external and you could actually put this inside of a larger aperture too if um let's say you had a huge newtonian and you put it on top of the spider doesn't matter if it's off-centered as long as the diffraction grating is visible uh, it will work you can use these things for focusing visually which takes out all of the guesswork of course uh, you're using diffraction to to create a focus then which uh, works completely foolproof you can also use it of course for setting up your scopes in terms of tip and tilt by analyzing the patterns from such as pointing towards a cluster, a star cluster region, or just a rich star field. Uh, I've, I've done that many, many, many times already. I find a button of mask is one of the better ways to actually do that. But um, yeah, so the three sizes, once again, this goes up to 14 inch, this suits up to 10 inch external, and this is about five and a half inch external, uh, 14 centimeters so uh yeah those are some nice new products i wanted to introduce i've got quite a lot of stuff over on my uh, ebay and etsy page it's just my ebay page right here you can see what's going on uh cable management clips that kind of thing designed to pop off if anything gets caught saving your cables saving your <laughs> sockets too but in all other cases keeping everything neatly tied up uh sea star parts sea star band of masks etc there's a lot of stuff on there and uh yeah i want to thank you everybody who's uh shown some support through these channels too really means an awfully great deal to me now one more thing i want to touch upon uh, just really quickly um i realize i've not been punishing out as many particularly videos just lately and uh, that's because i've instead been putting a bit more time into the live streams uh, as you can see i've just done a few just recently 
And uh, there's probably more to come. Uh, apologies if you can hear my son, he's just having to play uh, in the observatory here. Um, but yeah, a lot of people don't seem to know how to get to these. So um, I'm making sure that every one of them is uploaded after the fact. So that if you want to view them, you know, the day after, a week after, a month after, whatever you like, or uh, snippets of them, all you need to do is navigate to my YouTube page, which is just youtube.com slash Matico. And if you can see the panel at the top, you can just click live. And in that panel, when I'm not actually live, you will see my archive of videos right there, the, the live video on demand, if you like. So you can select any of those, go through, and uh, the chat and everything should be all embedded for you to uh, enjoy. So yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to <laughs> catch up with you a little bit, let you know, like I say, once again, these products are available, ready to ship, and... Uh, Hopefully you guys like them. So that's about it. Thanks very much indeed for all your support. Really means the world to me, guys. And I, I will see you as soon as I possibly can in a future video or live stream. So until then, look after yourselves and close, guys.